Look at somebody and say, I am unstoppable. Whatever you thought you lost, whatever is taken from you, God will compensate you. All things work together for good to those who are called according to his what? Purpose. All things. May your life attract people that have something to do with your destiny. In obedience, he took the knife, put Isaac on the altar. As he lifted his hand, the God that will not answer late came quickly and said, Abraham, Abraham, don't put your hand. Don't kill him. Now I know that you can give anything, anything. Whenever God gives you instruction, there is a provision he has made. But oftentimes we obey the instruction and we don't see the provision because our inner eyes are blind. Abraham turned behind. It was not far. He turned behind and saw a ram. The ram has such a horn that God used all the shrubs had to tie the horn. Why? If the ram charged at Papa Abraham at hundred and something years, the ram will escape. So God took trouble out of his blessing. I pray for you. May God take trouble out of your blessing. Yeah. Whatever will trouble your blessing, may God take it out of the way. Yeah. His eyes open. I pray that your eyes will open. Yeah. He walked past the ram. It was, the ram was there, but he didn't say. How many times have we walked past opportunities? We walked past the people sent to help us. We walked past destiny helpers, financial helpers, marital helpers, because we are not seen. Say, Lord, open my inner eyes. Even when we confess positively, Abraham was confessing. Isaac said, Papa, there is wood. There is, uh, uh, there is fire. But where is the lamb? The lamb for sacrifice. He said the Lord will provide for himself. He was confessing positively. But he was not looking. But look at what Jesus said. Jesus said, watch. And do what? Do you know what we do? We pray before we watch. You are greater than Jesus. Jesus said, look. Do what? Look. And how do you look? Not with these eyes. The inner eyes. See the greatness of God. See the mightiness of God. And see the smallness of your challenge. Then pray. divine revelation and, and he saw let me give you the last example then we pray Luke chapter 19 what I'm going to say right now Twenty-five people will encounter what I'm going to say before the week is over. Luke 19. Luke 19. And Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. And behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus. 
which was the chief among the publicans, and he was rich. And he sought to see Jesus, who he was, and could not for the press. The press there is the crowd, because he was little of stature. And he ran before and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him, for he was to pass that way. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him and said unto him, Zacchaeus, make haste. And come down. For today, I must abide at thy house. And he made haste and came down and received him joyfully. And when they saw it, they all murmured, saying, that he was gone to be guest with a man that is a, a sinner. And Zacchaeus stood and said unto the Lord, Behold, Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor. And if I have taken anything from any man by false accusation, I restore him fourfold. And Jesus said unto him, This day <laughs> is salvation come to this house. For as much as he also is a son of who? Somebody said divine revelation, insight, foresight. Ladies and gentlemen, can I, when we went to Israel, we saw Sycamore tree. I remember climbing that Sycamore tree and took photograph on a Sycamore tree. What I want to bring out here is this. Jesus has passing that way all along. And the sycamore tree was there before Zacchaeus was born. But Zacchaeus never, ever thought that the sycamore tree would be a helper. Never thought that sycamore tree will change everything about his life. Do you know how much we stay with people, relate with people, fellowship with people, eat with people, sing with people, we just talk and chat and we don't see the treasure in them. And for that reason, we remain where we are because they were assigned to us. That's why we are close. Are you here? If you know that you are a child of God, your life is programmed. You were predestinated before you came. So whatever is happening around you is a part of the program. Take advantage of it. Whoever is coming around you, they may look negative. They may even be negative. Take advantage. See the positive inside the negative. Don't forget the message I preach. From negative to what? To picture. From negative. Those cameras of those days. So you bring the negative. You print the negative. The negative look like caricature. If they tell you that you are the one that you said no. Can I tell you the truth? If you throw away the negative, you have thrown away the picture. You will never have the picture. One of the problems why we don't have any good picture of our wedding. Because we didn't have money to print. By the time we remember many years to print, the negative has gone bad. So there was nothing to print out of it. No jealous meal. Because you don't know where I'm coming from. No money to print photograph. How much? You know there now. Higher video for where? How can you? In 1982. Who gave monkey banana? 
We lost the negative, so we lost the photograph. Be careful how you discard people. Be careful how you throw people away because of their mistakes. They are negative. They are trying to become picture. They are trying to become picture. They are trying to become picture. And it's not easy to become. That negative might be the negative you will climb to see Jesus one day. The sycamore tree was there. Zacchaeus passed there every day. Passed there to go and collect money. Passed there to pursue those who didn't pay tax and didn't know the sycamore tree was planted there to lift him up. Didn't know the sycamore tree was planted there to add to his height. Didn't know the sycamore tree was planted there for him to take action and attract Jesus into his life. Zacchaeus made several attempts to see Jesus. The Bible said, the Bible tried to give us the picture. And he was not only short, Zacchaeus was small. You know, there are people, they are not short only. The, the French language called them petit petit. So there are places they sell clothes for petit petit people. So you will see people of 40 years old, that is where they buy their trousers, buy their shoe. Their shoe is like the shoe of a child of uh, uh, 10 years. In fact, these days, 10 years children are wearing size 8. Their own shoe is so small. Their trousers are small. Their hand is small. They, so, Zacchaeus was that. And, sir, he was making a photo to see Jesus. He joined the crowd. That is the mistake we are making. That somebody applied a particular principle succeed does not mean you should apply the same principle. It may not work. Because you are not given the same composition of your brain. You are not given the same. You are not given the same IQ. You are likely to try it and you fail woefully. You said, it's my village that is troubling me. No, not your village. You are applying what you do not understand. There is something around you. Look at somebody and say, there is something around you. <laughs> Zach. Whenever Jesus is passing through Jericho, Zacchaeus will join the crowd and he will be lifting his eyes. He will be lifting his head to see whether he will see Jesus. The, these tall people suppressed him. Can I tell you something? There is a place for you in life. Stop associating with people who don't mind you. Stop moving with people who do not regard you. Stop living, staying among people who don't value what you have. There are people that will value you. Locate them. Say, Lord, open my eyes. There are people that will value you. Everybody will be moving. They push him behind. Look at this. He was a tax collector in the first place. So he has a societal stigma. So they just hate him. But one day, somebody said one day. That is what divine revelation does for you. Suddenly your eyes open and discover that what is close to you is actually what you are looking for. You know the language, you know our, our, our common uh, language here, that what you are looking for, Sokoto, is where? Ah, that thing is true. It's true. There are many people whose eyes are so high, they are looking at one thing, they are, they are imagining, I'm not saying you shouldn't dream big dream, but start from where you are. You will get there. If I can have five million, when you have no handle five hundred thousand, if they give you five million, your heart will knock because too many things will be racing on your mind. You will develop high blood pressure by force because you have not even handled hundred thousand before. You are looking for five million business. Zacchaeus, listen to me. There is a sycamore tree by your side. Can I hear somebody say amen? amen. Say, Lord, Lord, open my eyes 
to see my sycamore tree. You know what, that Zacchaeus, the moment Zacchaeus saw it, the moment you have a new perspective of the present situation, your thought changes, your choice changes, your action changes, then there will be a new result. He thought, Jesus is coming again. <laughs> if I join this crowd, no way. But if I climb this sycamore tree, I know I'm short. I know I am of a small stature. I know the society don't even like me. But I know what, I just want to see him. I will climb the sycamore tree. You don't succeed by following the crowd. You succeed by, by carving a way for yourself when you are seen clearly. You succeed by creating your own niche by yourself. Using other people's knowledge to carve a way for yourself. Are you here? He climbed the sycamore tree. What was his dream? To see Jesus. <laughs> he knows that Jesus wasn't going to come to his house. That is what he thinks. But he doesn't know God's agenda. It is your action that attracts his attention. The blessings, supernatural blessings, are everywhere. Can you see? Can you? He climbed up there. Ha! Huh. So this is how Jesus is. He's so handsome. Ha! Huh. Jesus. That is wonderful. And Jesus was coming with the crowd. The crowd didn't know where he was going. And Jesus was going. And Jesus was going. And Jesus was going. When he got to the tree, do you know he knows his name? He knows your name. You have not taken action to attract his attention. Do you think it was easy for a rich man to be climbing tree? Come on. Are you here with me? It was not. It was not what he wanted to do naturally. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are going to encounter supernatural, you will behave like a madman. For the Bible says, he that is spiritual is mad. You will go contrary to what people think. You will mesmerize people's reasoning. People will begin to suspect you that you have done something. But you know what you are doing. Come on, somebody, holla, hallelujah. He climbed. I guess when he was climbing, people were laughing. So see this man. What divine revelation does for you, it makes you to take certain steps that ordinary people think you are stupid. They think you have lost your mind. When Jesus got there, he said, Lazarus, uh, Zacchaeus, Zac, he, me, he said, come down. <laughs> Do what? Come down. Before this month is over, I pray for you. May you see your psychometry in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if Zacchaeus had known, he would have done this long ago. He didn't know. All along he was passing there, it was ordinary tree. There are certain people, they eat lunch with you. You think they are ordinary tree, not knowing they are psychometry. tree. Every hidden destiny helper be made visible in the name of Jesus. 
I've come to announce to somebody that the season of celebration has just started. May your life attract people that have something to do with your destiny. This week, this week is your week of testimony. Unlimited testimony. Somebody shout and receive it. Some customers come to you and buy things. You think they are ordinary customers. No, they are sycamore tree that you need to climb on. You use your car and you do Uber, you do pay ride. You do not know you are carrying a passenger. The passenger you are carrying is a sycamore tree. I was talking with a driver in London. He is a taxi driver. He carries this man. You keep on carrying the man. The man is, he carry the man from the airport. The man says, I'm arriving so so time. He takes the man and he doesn't, he doesn't know. He doesn't know who the man was. And one day he came to carry the man. And the man looked at his face and said, you don't look happy. He said, yes, sir. Uh, he said, my sister is, I've been given the letter to leave London in the next few days. Oh, he said, really? He said, yes, sir. And she has been here for so, so, so years. He said, what's your sister's name? He mentioned the name. He said, okay. Um, ca can you get his passport, her passport? He, he said, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He dropped the man. The man said, bring the passport to me. He went, took the sister's passport and gave to the man. Within one week, the sister had a stay, had red passport. So, who have I been carrying all these years? He didn't know he was, the person he was carrying, they are the one that rules London. <laughs> Lift up your right hand and say, Lord! Open my eyes. How would he have known? There was no way. He had carried the man for years and didn't know who he was. But he was diligent in his place of assignment. He was diligent in what he was doing. Listen to me. The sycamore tree is where you are diligent where your obedience is. Stand to your feet. Sycamore tree. Sycamore tree. Sycamore tree. My first trip out of this nation was by a woman I trained. I didn't train the woman that she was going to be the instrument to use. The husband left her for me and I did my due diligence in training her. And she returned to Ghana and that's the end of the chapter. I've done my job. Then I wrote a book, Lose Him and Let Him Go. The book was only within Mark of Christ. Where do I, where, where? The book itself was an apology because if you open it, the pages will begin to fly. The devil fought the book. We, we printed the book in three printing press. Anywhere you take the book to, the printing press will break down. What kind of book is this? And here I was in 1990. And guess what? Somebody came and brought a letter. Inside the letter, I was invited to London. <laughs> London, when I have not, I don't even know. No, they brought the letter for me to come to Ghana first. 
That was the first time. I think the, the ticket then was whether 10,000, I don't know. Managed to get the ticket and fly aeroplane to London, uh, to Ghana. That was where I took the book, lose him and let him go. And we started, the, where they invited me to preach was where two or three are gathered inside a classroom. I was diligent. After two days, church scatter. When I used the school compound, that was where some people got the book. From there, the book went to London. And from London, somebody said, we need this man. So I was here. They brought a letter. W what is it? They say, I have to come to London with money to buy ticket. Here. <laughs> See me. By who? By that woman I trained. She, con somebody contacted her. They said, she is the one that knows the, the writer of the book. And ladies and gentlemen, that was how I left to London. I didn't even, I don't even know where I was going. That the worst time to go to London is in January. The winter was terrific. One of our members here gave me a jacket. And the jacket she gave me was a woman's jacket. And I didn't know the difference between a female jacket and a male jacket. So far, I cover body. Somebody holler, amen. amen. That was how I found myself in London, January 30th, 1992. Ladies and gentlemen, all doors. I climbed the sycamore tree. I pray for you before this week is over. You will see your sycamore tree. You will enter your sycamore tree. You will climb your sycamore tree. In the name of Jesus. Lift your hand and begin to pray for yourself. Lord, open my eyes. I can't hear somebody's voice. Open my eyes to see my helper. Open my eyes to see my psychometry. Open my eyes. Divine revelation. Divine insight. Ah! I can't hear somebody that is praying. I can't even hear somebody that is desperate. I can't even hear somebody that has a faith to receive. Nando ketele krandu zubrada ya. Zegele la mada da 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 de zetas. Zegele la mada da da da. Zeketolo kanabali adara. Receive revelation, receive insight. I command every cloud over you to be taken away. Every covering cast over your mind be taken away. Be gone. Receive light, 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 light.
action will attract his attention. Jesus said, come down. He came down. He said, we are going to your house. Do you know where you are going? He said, yes, your house. Your house? My house? He said, yes. And Jesus went to his house. The crowd, they didn't know where Jesus was going. When they saw Jesus in a sinner's house, they began to grumble. Where were they grumbling? Outside. If you don't do anything to distinguish yourself, you will be like the crowd. If you don't add value to yourself, nobody adds value to you. Respect attracts respect. If you don't respect yourself, don't expect respect. You don't put certain honor on yourself, don't expect anybody to honor you. What makes you different is what is in you that manifests. You have the same hands like any other person, the same eyes, but you see something different. Are you telling me that Zacchaeus was the only small person in his society? No, sir. But he received divine revelation. You are going to pray, Lord, I need divine revelation to shift from where I am to where I'm supposed to be. I need divine insight. When Jesus entered his house, he said to Jesus, I, uh, I know myself. I, I don't chop other people's money. I go restore. It, it was just, Jesus didn't, say, didn't ask me anything. He was just talking. You know what Jesus said? He said, today, salvation. You know what salvation is? Salvation encompasses everything. He said today, healing, real riches, real prosperity, divine protection, divine preservation, divine acceptance, favor of all kinds has come to your house for one singular action. May that be your testimony before the month of March is over. Lift your hands and begin to pray for yourself. Say, Lord, Lord, give me light. Give me light in my inner man. In my inner man, so that I can see. So that I can see. Lord, Lord, I've stayed here for too long. I've stayed here for too long. In this particular situation. In this particular situation. I need divine revelation. I need divine revelation. For divine shift. For divine shift. Lord. Lord. As I pray. As I pray. And I clap my hands. And I clap my hands. Before March is over. Before March is over. Let me see my sacrament tree. In the name of Jesus. Somebody clap your hands and pray.
I bow my knees on this altar. Ah, Jesus. Before this new week is over. Yes, Lord. Receive light in your inner man. Amen. Light in your inner eyes. Amen. See your sycamore tree. Amen. Yes, Lord. Take action and climb your sycamore tree. Amen. Even when it's not convenient for you, do it. Amen. Yes. Let your action attract his attention. Amen. Jesus. By this insight, may you have access to where your supernatural blessings are kept. Amen. Yes, Lord. Everyone carrying your treasure, Jesus, may they pass your way. Amen. May your path and their path collide this week. Amen. Your destiny help us. Your marital help us. Amen. Your financial help us. Amen. Your business help us. Amen. May you come in contact with them in the name of Jesus. Amen. On my knees, yes, Lord. I curse anything that wants to bring trouble into your blessing. Jesus. Whatever has been projected to destabilize you, ah. I destabilize them on my knees. Amen. Yes, Lord. I pray for your improvement. I pray for your increase. Yes. I pray for your upliftment. Yes. I pray that you will know Jesus. Amen. I pray that you be converted. Amen. Receive grace to overcome temptation. Amen. Receive grace to overcome your weaknesses. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. This week, Receive angelic visitations. Amen. Angelic Jesus. visitations. Amen. May your eyes be open to see your angels. Amen. Whether they are in the form of spirit, in form of animals, in form of human beings, may you see them. Amen. Receive a new insight. Amen. Into your present circumstance. Amen. So you can have a new strategy. Amen. How to approach it. Amen. I see you on top. Amen. I see a change coming your way. Amen. I see you taking delivery of supernatural blessings. Amen. I see you arriving to where you are going. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. On this altar, I cause every sickness in your body. Amen. Amen. I cause every affliction in your body. Amen. Yes, Lord. I cause every pain in your body. Amen. I cause everyone that is troubling your destiny. Ah. Everyone Akato. frustrating your effort. Yes, Lord. I command judgment Amen. of destruction upon them. Amen. Yes, Lord. Whatever has been projected this week Amen. shall not locate you. Amen. Shall not locate your children. Amen. Shall not locate your household. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Receive healing in your body. Amen. I receive it. Thank you, Father. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody believe, shout it loud them and three times. Amen. Amen.